What's happening, pimp? And welcome back to On the Real. This is Rob Black, and I have a few announcements to make before we get into this Warcraft movie review. First off, I'm sorry I haven't been here for the past what three weeks now, but I've been dealing with some YouTube shit, you know, the copyright system and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we're back. Another announcement: I am going to be joining the crew of Shifter on Film. You've seen them in a few of my videos here. You've seen me in their videos as well. Look out for some great, great, great stuff coming out. I'll put a link into the description down below. But if you want to check them out, hit them up. And of course, make sure you subscribe and like their videos. Same with mine. I mean, you know, this is YouTube. But finally, let's go right back into what we're talking about. This is the Warcraft movie. This should have been the video game movie to herald all the video game movies ever to really um, buy back or to really uh, regain the public's trust in video game movies. And I'll let you know if they have succeeded. Well... Without any further ado and any of that, you know, show business bullshit, nah. No, it didn't. But it's not a bad movie. It's actually a pretty good movie. It's not a bad movie, but there are some, there are some instances where I did not like it. Overall, the movie and the structure itself is not well paced enough because they're trying to go through a lot, a lot of lore. I mean, have you seen the World of Warcraft uh, lore? It's crazy. People get lost in there and their whole lives can be gobbled up right into it. So there's a lot of lore, but the movie tries to attempt to jump you or they basically think you already know all the lore. So there's no explanations. Medivh, which is one of the characters in this movie... He goes off for about six years and then he comes back and he's supposed to be a guardian. Nobody knows what the fuck a guardian is. No explanation on that. No explanation on a lot of different things. But if you know, if you're a fan of the mo um, of the games, if you're a fan of Warcraft, if you're a fan of Blizzard in general, you will have a lot, a lot, a lot of Easter eggs. And you will have a lot of fun with this movie. Um, the visuals. The visuals are amazing. The CGI looks great. The orcs, the visual effects on their faces is amazing. The attention to detail too was excellent. Everything from the armor, the horses, the throne rooms, everything is as you would have seen them in the World of Warcraft video game. So, the story now. Let's talk about the story. The story itself is pretty much beat for beat the first Warcraft game. So, essentially, the orcs leave their home planet because it's dying because of Gul'dan's death magic. And they try to come to Azeroth where all the humans live. And, of course, there's battles and shit like that because, nah, you're not just going to come to my hood and just take over the shit. Nah, that's not going to happen. So, basically, orcs and humans start fighting. But there's a sinister plot behind it. There's a deeper plot behind it. Gul'dan is doing some dark evil magics in the background. And, you know, there's a big bad guy in the background as well and of course everything looks great but the story itself is not paced well enough this movie is about two and a half hours almost two two hours and 20 minutes if i'm not mistaken um a good 30 minutes of that could have been cut out so that would have been made a better concise movie um there's things in this movie that i just did not need to see in there first of all the love story behind um, between garona and the human whatever his name is i think it's lothar if i'm not mistaken that love story first of all makes no sense because two minutes after meeting each other they're all like oh 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 Oh, baby, I want you. This makes no sense. I mean, they literally just met. This woman comes from another world. She's half orc, for God's sake. But this guy's like, yo, listen, power of boners, man, is too strong. So he gets right up in that. And um, that love story never really goes anywhere either. So it was pretty much useless for the, the rest of the, um, the movie. Another thing is Rona herself knows how to speak human tongue and knows how to speak orc tongue. She is explained as being a half-breed. She was uh, born of an orc mother and we are guessing a human father because the humans mention that she looks kind of like them. Now, the thing is, Medivh drops a little something in the movie hinting that he was the one that went to the orc's world and, you know, got it on with an orc, which is kind of crazy because those women will break you. They will break you. That's by Snoo Snoo. How at a pimp. But that... That plot point was a little bit weird. And there is more to the story. Of course, Medivh was part of the reason why this, this invasion came into the first place. As far as the action and the directing, the action itself is pretty great. I mean, you see orcs being orcs. They're huge. They're muscular. They beat down people. They You hear the bones crunching when they swing their huge hammers for Doomhammer and all of that good stuff. 
Um, but the direction itself is, I would say, not too used to this grand fantasy epic. I mean, we are getting used to seeing these kinds of movies. Of course, the, the major comparison is going to be Lord of the Rings. And Lord of the Rings is also another adaptation that has a lot of a huge amount of lore and all of that comes into a play and to effect and you can see that peter jackson was more uh, how can i say this he was more used and prepared to translate that epicness to the screen but the director here duncan jones did not do such a great job there are a few points in this movie and you're like why is this here why is that there they jump from city to city without a lot of explanation i mean if you know what you know if you know a little bit about the games you'll know exactly what you're seeing but there's a lot of things that are introduced into the story not explained whatsoever and have very 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 little impact to the story in itself so there are some structural problems with the movie but is the movie as horrible as everybody else is saying? No, not at all. This movie is entertaining. It is visually well-crafted. It is a good movie. It's not a great movie, but it's not a horrible movie either, or a middling movie. So, all in all, Warcraft, I'll give it a, an eye review. It's an eye movie. So, what did you think, Pimpin? Was I too harsh on the movie? What do you think? Hit me up down below. Like, Come on, guys. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me whatever you want to tell me. Why did you cut your hair? Why did you do that? I just want more comments from you guys, more engagement. And, of course, you know I got love for y'all like that. So, until next time, Pimpin, this is Rob Black, and I'm out.